what's up everyone it's Bobby today I'm gonna to be answering the number one question that I get asked all of the time like literally I get asked this question probably on a daily basis if not multiple times on a, in a day um, through comments through PMs through emails all those different ways this question's been asked and that's how do I make my YouTube intro everybody wants to know how to make an intro everyone wants to know what program to use how I did it how every youtuber pretty much who has makes uh, regular content has their intro they want to know how to do it and there's multiple different ways that you can do it and I'm not gonna go into detail in any of these ways I'm just gonna be throwing it out there how I make my intro so alright here you guys go so the first way um, that this is my main way that I like to make my intros is using a program called motion now this is motion 3 and it is part of the Final Cut Studio suite now this suite is very expensive I don't think there's any way you can just buy motion um, but this is a great program to use so this is what I've made my most recent intro with so you can open it up now if you're familiar with motion then obviously you can you you can pretty much do anything the um, the there's really no limits to what you can do with this but if you don't know how to use motion this is your first time using it and you want to make an intro or whatever a really great option is when you open motion it gives you the option to start with a template now this is how most youtubers make their intros with motion this is how I admittedly did make my intro but I'm planning on making a new one even better than this without using a template so what you can do is you can click continue with the template and it gives you an option um, of all these different templates that you can use now this is the one I use it's called the Tomic strand and if you guys see right here it does look very similar to the intro that I do have on my com er, on my YouTube channel and basically these little gray boxes in the text here those are just spots that you can type your own text and those are drop boxes so you can drop video files pictures anything you want like that very very easy to use you just select the template you uh, click the box where it says text then you type your text you can drop pictures videos like I said in there very very simple way to make a cool intro you can always put music in the background change it up it's really really easy to do um, there's lots and lots of different ones that you can do and it does have a lot of really great like options so see you could have a picture drop down another picture with text and then a final picture with text um, lots of different things here's one here's another one that I've used before um, where's the one that I used for my old intro this is the one I used er, yeah this is actually one of my intros that I've used very easy to use then there's also all these other ones like short ones if you want to do like an intro little video before your um, movie there's lots and lots of different themes in motion and this is how most people make their intros so I just thought I'd share that with you for those of you who have been asking me this question so that's the motion now another way that you can you make intros is with a program called live type now live type also comes in Final Cut Studio I believe they actually stopped selling this application with the suite so if you have it from an older version um, I do have tutorials on how to use live type basically it lets you do all these cool like crazy text things if you guys see up here in the right corner you can uh, choose like um, an effect and type what you want it to say um, anything like that you can have a video background which is how I this is how I made I think my first or second intro my second intro I use this lots and lots of different cool things you can do with live type I have a tutorial on that so if you haven't seen that click the screen right now and go watch those if you want to tried making an intro with live type I do have a tutorial on that um, another way is always just using iMovie you can just import clips that you have and put it in the background and then um, put text over it I'm not gonna open iMovie because it takes forever because of all the video that has to load and like thumbnails and stuff like that but iMovie is really straightforward I do have videos on tutorials on iMovie so you guys can go check those out and I also and there's also hundreds of other uh, tutorials on iMovie if you don't know how to use it so you can just search that on YouTube as well now the last way this is I'm not I haven't done this before but I'm definitely planning on it another youtuber named I start Mac rumors he has some really awesome intros customized intros to each app application iPhone application review that he does and he uses keynote now I never did think of that I'm not sure exactly how he did it but if you know um, how to use Keynote there's all these cool ways that you can have like slides and things coming in to the scene like say you want to choose this doing this together for the first time guys I've never done this before so you could have you could type what you want it to say like Bobby anything Mac boy um, and then you can select this and then I believe it's media no it's inspector I think it's 
go mod. Inspector. Yeah, so Inspector, you can choose how you want it to come in. And this is how you do it. So the build in, you can have it flame in. So it gives you a little preview like that. So you could do something like that and then apply it. And now when you turn on the slide, I believe. There you guys see my name flamed in. There's lots and lots of different options. So just make sure when you're doing this, type what you want to say. You can put pictures in and you select the part of text that you want to do your effect in. Go to the inspector, this little triangle with the little build inspector right here. You can choose what you want it to do to build in, the build out, and like an action. Just lots of different uh, options and stuff like that. You can make a really cool intro. I'm not sure exactly how he videoed it and made it into a video. I One option I was thinking about is you could always use QuickTime 10 with Snow Leopard and do uh, screen capture, screen recording like that, and then just crop it or whatever. I'm not sure exactly how he did it, but it did turn out really well. And I haven't really done this yet. I'm planning on doing it in the future, but this I just wanted to share with you guys. This is always just another option uh, if you're trying to make yourself a YouTube intro. So those are just a couple of different ways that you can make a YouTube intro. These are all the ways that I make my YouTube intro. Hopefully I'll stop getting asked that question. But um, it is a very, very easy process, and you just kind of have to dig around a little bit. So hopefully this video helped. If this video helped you at all, make sure you like it or rate five stars, depending on if YouTube's changed your page yet. Um, leave a comment. Let me know how you make your intro. If you do have a better way of making intros, leave a video response or leave a comment as well. I really am curious to know how you guys make your intros or how uh, you've heard to make the best kind of intro. Or if I was doing something wrong that you disagree with or there's an easier way for me to do it, also leave a comment below and let me know that. And I'm sure everyone watching this video will appreciate your comments. So make sure you do comment on this video. Uh, like I said, like it. Follow me on Twitter and make sure you guys subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will have a bunch more video reviews. Lots and lots of different tutorials coming up. Uh, the video content is going to definitely increase as we get closer to summer. And uh, make sure you guys do everything I said. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Breaking it. My, my, my pen tripping with bass, banging out the dead blaze, chopping through your set.